Hello, and welcome to Seasonal Job Pro, the channel made for seasonal workers. Today, we're talking about winter jobs in Alaska. So, let's get to work. Alaska is an amazing state, full of moose, bears, fish, bears eating those fish, and seasonal jobs. Unfortunately, most of those seasonal jobs are in the summer. By late summer or early fall, many of these jobs have ended, because, just like the bears, they will take a long nap until the next season comes around again. But if you've just wrapped up a summer season in the 49th state and you don't want to go home yet, there are a few options out there for seasonal job pros. Or if you've been kicked out of every other state and you don't want to go to Florida, Alaska is probably a place for you, too. Now, when you think of Alaska in the winter, you probably think it's pitch black 24-7 and there's a never-ending blizzard outside all day, every day. That is not entirely accurate. The snow does stop falling and the sun does come out. Just not always for very long. It prefers to spend more time somewhere else like the tropics. In fact, many Alaskans will say their favorite time of year is the winter, and others will say that you are not a true Alaskan if you don't spend the winter there. But most people say that about everywhere. So if you want to see for yourself or write Alaskan on a piece of paper, check out these companies that are often in need of staff for winter in Alaska. If you've been to this channel before, you may already know that a large part of the seasonal job industry is typically in hospitality and tourism. And as you might expect, tourism in Alaska has the tendency to die off a bit in the winter as the sun starts to go into hiding. What's there to see when the sun goes away, you might ask? Well, the aurora borealis, also known as the northern lights. The phenomenon where science punches sky in the face and creates an explosion of colors only visible in the right places at the right times. And since this phenomena is somewhat predictable, humans have cleverly found a way to capitalize on it by inviting people with very expensive cameras to come sit outside and take pictures of the sky. And one place to do that is Borealis Base Camp. Borealis Base Camp operates tours to the Arctic Circle, as well as a restaurant and lodging, which means they need staff to work in each of these departments. Guest services agents work at the front desk and have housekeeping duties as well, and are paid between $15 and $17 an hour. Maintenance crew with a background in construction and off-grid living systems will make around $18 to $23 bucks an hour. Restaurant servers make around $13 an hour, while chefs will earn around $25 an hour. Double room housing is provided at $200 a month. And there is a common space for staff with good Wi-Fi, so you can stay up to date with the Seasonal Job Pro on YouTube. All meals are provided by a chef dedicated to feeding the staff. And if you want that chef job, it pays about $18 an hour. And all positions get tips. Somehow. So if you want to spend the winter at latitude 65, you can find a job 45 minutes north of Fairbanks, Alaska, at Borealis Base Camp. Now, if Borealis Base Camp isn't remote enough for you, head an extra five-hour drive north to the area known as Coldfoot. Here you'll find Work Arctic. Work Arctic runs tours to Gates of the Arctic National Park, as well as Aurora viewing trips. They also operate a truck stop style cafe, as well as lodging for travelers. And it ain't fancy. They pay their guides $11 an hour. Uh, they also need cooks, cleaners, and bakers, paying between $13 and $16 bucks an hour. Tips are expected for all positions, and housing and three meals a day are offered at no cost. So, well, that's not bad. They also offer a $2,000 bonus for all staff who complete a full four-month season. And that's pretty good. 
But if those two jobs are getting just a little too remote for you, there is one other place closer to civilization. About 30 minutes outside of the big city of Anchorage, in Girdwood, you'll find Alieska. Alieska is a typical ski resort with multiple restaurants, cafes, bars, spas, ski lifts, and retail locations. And staff is needed for all of those. Servers, bartenders, lifties, retail, ski instructors, housekeepers, and front desk agents will make between $11 and $15 an hour, and of course the tips that come with those jobs. While cooks, restaurant managers, and front desk supervisors are all in the $20 to $25 an hour range. Company housing is available at $400 a month for a bunk bed in a shared double room, and it's usually described as horrible. Though less horrible company housing is offered off-site, starting around $600 a month. Employees do get a 20% discount on things, but 20% off a $25 hamburger still kind of sucks. Uh, most employees only last one season and tend to agree that the only upside to working at Alieska Resort is the free skiing. Ratings on Glassdoor from employees hover between 40 and 50% approval, which is not bad for a corporation. So if you're into free skiing and subpar working conditions, Alieska has a large workforce to fill out and revolving doors, which means you've got a pretty good chance of getting in. Uh, so that's our quick video for today on some winter jobs in Alaska. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more great videos about seasonal jobs, go ahead and subscribe. And have you ever worked for any of these companies? Uh, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear your experiences as a seasonal job pro. Thanks for watching.